today I'm going to show you guys how to make some fabulous orchid bowls, like really big ones that your girlfriends are going to come in and go, where'd you get those great bowls? You're going to be like, I made it. So the first thing I did is found at the discount home store, just found a great bowl that I really liked. This one's kind of summery and fun. Then I need some orchids. These are orchids that I got at the big box store. You can get these at the grocery store. They don't have to be fancy. They just have to be really pretty. They don't need to come in a fancy container. Next, you're going to need some floral foam. You're going to get this at the craft store. You can order this online. It's pretty accessible. You're going to need some knives. These are not sharp at all. I won't even try to pretend. You're going to need some wire and some wire cutters. Or For fun, if you want to add some fern in the center or on the sides, you can get some little ferns or some little or some little succulents. The other thing that's great to add is like corkscrew willow. Again, you can buy this. I bought this at the grocery store. So a lot of this stuff is really accessible, but when you put this all together, your friends will be amazed. My orchids were a little too short. When I put them in to my container, with, and I just put them right in the pot so that then if one dies, I can just pull this out and put another one in, and the pot gives it a little weight too. So when I put them in though, it was a little short. So under the circumstances, what I did is I bought floral foam in a large square. It actually comes in a big rectangle. I just took the bottom of the pot, set it down, drew it out, and then cut myself this round, uh, well, oval. I don't know, my eight-year-old would be all upset that I don't know my shapes. Uh, and I'll drop this down in the bottom, and that'll give it a little bit of height. So that gives me just enough height to actually have the leaves come out and be over the top. So we're just gonna start adding the orchids in. It is this simple, truly this simple. <laughs> I like to have the I like to have the orchids kind of, I like to have this big kind of in the front and then have them droop the same way in the back. So when I was picking them, I made sure that I got orchids, orchids that arched. So I'll put those two in the in the front and I'll do I'll lay them out exactly the same in the back. You might have to, you'll have to move the leaves around a little bit to get them to fit where you want them. Once you have your orchids in your pot, you then need to actually add a little floral foam to just keep them secure. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start securing the orchids in here so that they don't flop all around when you try to move it and simultaneously it gives us a nice top essentially to put moss on. So I'm going to take the floral foam and I'm going to stick it down in between as far as it needs to go. Then mark it with my knife so I know where to cut. I'm going to cut that off and just start stacking the floral foam down in between the containers to give myself a little bit more, uh, to, well not to give myself, I need more support too, but at least these orchids will have support, me not so much. In a big orchid like this, you're using quite a bit of foam, but you're just kind of cramming it in between all of the loose spaces, just to help those, those containers to stop moving and shaking all over the place. And you can use your scraps. Sometimes I use scraps. And if you have to just cut a little extra off, cut a little extra off. But this is definitely going to help to keep these bad boys from being all over the place. Now they're pretty they're in there pretty securely. So now, like if you want to add fern or corkscrew willow or any of those fun little things, this is the time to do it because you can still see, like the corkscrew willow has to sit. You'll probably want to use it and stick it right directly into the foam. So this is the time to do it because you can see it. 
So these little ferns are real inexpensive. And same thing, you can just keep them right in their little pot and then just put them in wherever you feel like you wanna put them in. If they're, if they're in there on, their, on your foam, then you might have to cut a little of the foam out to get them down in between. Take your fern and you'll set it down on top of the foam and then just cut around it to make yourself so you can see where the little hole needs to be for that fern. So now that you made a little hole for it, then you can just stick it down in there, fluff it up. fill the space in the center. So you're going to take the willow and again put it down. See about how, how tall you want it and then just go ahead and trim. These are some awful cutters. They're bad. Don't make it look easy. Trim it out and then you're going to just start cramming the corkscrew willow down into the center. And I'm going to use the thickest piece right in the center just in case I need to pull any of these orchids and I can wire them uh, to, the, to the corkscrew willow to hold them in a little bit better. Oh my gosh, I need some new cutters. Somebody tell Frank I need some new cutters. moss at again any any uh, craft store gardening store I got the sheet moss as well as I like this little kind of like fungusy looking moss it's really cool because it's poofy so pick that up and the moss comes in little chunks like this and you can spread it you can you can chip it off but you're just gonna start covering where any, any of that foam is showing or any of the tops of the pots, you'll just start covering up with this moss. And just wrap it around the clip and it'll just stick there and hide it. Finish it off by adding a little water. 
and I water my orchids. In the summertime, I, I like to give my, leave my orchids in place with lots of natural light. So in the summertime, just like anything, I water them more, and in, in the wintertime, I uh, water them less. So in the end, you are left with this amazing orchid bowl that your friends will think you spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on. But really, you just made it in your kitchen in your spare time. That's all I got is spare time.